Today we're gonna take a look at how to install MX Simulator on a MacBook or iMac or whatever Mac you're using I guess. So first off you wanna order your version of the game and make sure to choose the Windows version if you're prompted with Windows or Linux, so Windows version it is. Uh, then when you have downloaded the installer, got on your registration key in the email, do not lose the registration key. Do save that email because you might need it when you reinstall the computer or something. So get the game and then you want to install something called first xquart. So xquart, yes. Type that into Google, go to the page and you can go to releases I guess or just quick download this one. The version needs to be at least 2.7.7 so this one is good. As you can see I've already downloaded and installed my version. Also I'll leave all the links in the video description so you can um, easily find them. Uh, so install XQuartz, restart your computer, then you want to go to winehq.com and this is the sort of emulator it says it's not an emulator, but that's sort of what it does at least. So you want to go to download. And then we have a few ones here. We have we are obviously on Mac, so we have Mac OS. Need X quartz, it says to download. And you can see installing here both package files and turbo files. So simply just go to this one. And then we have wine development and wine staging. I'm not exactly sure what the difference is but I read that wine staging is better for gaming so that's the version I have so you go ahead and download that one as well. Uh, I'll, I'll directly link you to this page if you want that instead in the description. So let's go ahead and install wine. So continue. Just hit continue. I did not choose 64-bit as MX Simulator is a 32-bit game so just continue, install, password, and it's actually a quite fast installer, it should be done right about here. So we close, uh, I, I like to keep the file, and you can see I have the downloaded MX Simulator, it, MX Simulator installer. So just double click that one, it prompts you something about .NET applications, I choose cancel here. I choose cancel again and now we are gonna get to real MX Simulator installer just hit next next install and it is going to install MX Simulator okay so MX Simulator is installed that is great but where is it installed uh, what wine does is that it creates a directory in um, this directory your home called dot wine but you cannot see anything called dot wine here and that is because it's a hidden folder I'm just gonna op and open up the terminal here for a quick second and if I list everything there is to list here you can see we have dot wine and it is a directory and it, since it has a dot in the beginning I probably said it but that means it's a hidden folder just to make it easier so how do we access that folder easily if we use the command shift command G we get prompted to go to a folder and be sure to be in your home folder minus Christopher because that's my name we enter dot wine you can see we got into wine and we can see in the path down here that looks good so MX Emulator is located in drive C program files MX Emulator and since you're probably going to want to play this game quite a lot, I hope, I'm gonna drag this folder into my sidebar. So I fought at least. Stupid force touch. So now we have this folder right here, and if we double click, we'll see that it opens. And that is super simply how to install MX Simulator. If you go to Bike Setup and just change a bike, uh, and exit the game real quick. I'm just gonna turn down the sounds too. So exit the game. You should always exit the game 
here with the quit option, otherwise it might mess up. So exit the game. And now it's time to locate your personal folder. And it's a big difference between the personal and the program files. You can see we have this one in program files. This folder in program files is never able to change or modify the files in this directory. So all DLC like tracks and skins should go into this folder. If we go back here to drive C again, so we can see we have another folder called users. Go into this one. This is my name, so we go into this one as well. We go to local settings, application data, and we can find MX Simulator. And we have the config file right here. So we can open a config file, I guess. You can see everything here is configured. So this is the personal folder. And to be able to differentiate between these two, I would probably do this. I would add the application data folder here. So this is where your, all your screenshots and stuff are saved. And this folder is created once you've opened the game and modified something and then exited by using the quit option. Uh, before you have opened the game, this folder does not exist. So it, once the game opens, it creates the folder. So we can see here, here are the folders we need. And that's it. Now you can just go ahead and play MX Simulator. Just double click the file. And you are good to go. So let's open up the first track here. You can see, probably gonna, oops. So you can set your keys or do whatever you want. This is just what I used to do when um, I played on a keyboard way back in the day. And um, to not take a lot of screenshots, I'm just not reassign that. Um, since we haven't entered that key yet, I'm gonna get prompted all the time. But that's super simple how to set up MX Simulator. If you have any questions, I'm gonna leave my both forum profile and a forum thread about this, or you can post a comment. Uh, so yeah, that is how to play MX Simulator on a MacBook. I'm also gonna make a few more how to get the editor to work and how to install bikes and skins, but that's for another tutorial. So I hope you could follow along on this one. And I do believe this is all you need to know. Just gonna double check real quick. I think that's all. So if you have any questions, just hit me up and uh, enjoy this tutorial and enjoy MX Simulator, and I'll see you in my next guide.